Can you hear me? Do I sound okay? Okay, well, I'm just putting it in the Discord real quick. Hello, Justin. Okay. Um, do you have anything you want to say, sweetie? No? Oh. Well, um, I'm playing alone in the dark. Uh, it's not really a remake. It's more like a reimagining, which isn't really the same thing, is it? No. Well, it, it, I've never played the original. I don't know anything about it. And I don't know if this game is has the same story or anything like that, but I mean, we'll we'll see. I don't know anything about it, but um, yeah. But here we go. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? It's Hopper. Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm. 
You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Well, it is really <coughs> tell me what they do, so I don't know. So, do you think he'd be the better one to use? Because he has a gun? If you pick him, I think he'll be more calm, I think. But if you pick her, it might be more about a boy to talk about it. So, I think it's a big thing. Outlast and amnesia. Outlast and amnesia? I thought you ran in amnesia too. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Take, take whatever you want from that. One looks like they're avoiding combat, and one looks like they're a battle. Um. Maybe I should have had two in I see. But I think she'll get a gun eventually. If I'm. Not one right now. It's from the trailers. I wasn't looking at gameplay or anything. It's from the trailer for the game. If you want to get upset well, at them for spoiling stuff in so the trailer, quiet. that's not on me. Where is everyone? That's a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. You know what, maybe I should have picked him. I I mean, I... I yeah, see, she's got a good... What? It's dark in here. What? Oh. I'm sorry, sweetie. Can you hear yourself in the stream? It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. So, being out already? No. Of course not. I just... I can't see nothing. I don't know where I'm going. She doesn't have a flashlight! I don't think! I didn't see one in her items! I think I just pulled my gun out. Yep. No. I don't think she has one. And I, I can't see. I can't see any. Woo! 
I need the key. Oh, goody. I, I, can you see? Cause I can't see. I gotta find a key. I see. Well, this isn't the SCP universe, sweetie. <sighs> you know what? Prove that it is. Oh, is that a flashlight? Or is that the key? It... Both? This? Flashlight? Huzzah! Huh? I see, don't say that. Did you hear that? I heard and saw that. Well, what? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Well, this looks locked as well. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. So I'll have to come back out here at some point. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know, but I don't need to worry about it right now. Older vendor set up. They've built the house around them. Oh, okay. Is this for that thing outside or something else? That, huh? I. It looks like it's for this store. Oh, well, would well, you look at that? A trophy already. I'll just take this. Uh. Hmm. I should take that. What the heck? Let's see. Nope. Which way? Um. Oh. You know, it didn't really tell me how to aim, so I'm just gonna assume it's the same way as Resident Evil. I see. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look I don't, for help I lost elsewhere. I pray oh, you would I tell it. me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. 
with help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I see Jack some Baker words coming around the corner. The Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris gris. Welcome to the family. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. No. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's nice. You should take it. Huh? What's funny? I didn't ignore you. I, what do you want me to say? I don't know why she did that. Ew, what is that? Yeah, but you be genuinely ignoring me though. You don't like listening to me speak for real. Do I have a map? I'm afraid to press anything. So if I picked him, would he have come down here or would I just be standing up there waiting for her? I see. What was that? Very polite of you. They're giving me too many directions. Huh? You saw nothing. Well, I guess I can't go that way. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. 
While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. I recognize that voice and he's faking an accent, but you know what? I might be wrong. I was wrong about Jihiro's voice actress. Well, maybe I don't need to go this way right now. Okay. I need the key. More freezer bullets. It's giving me a lot of ammo. No. <laughs> Sometimes you open things and there ain't nothing in there. I don't know, maybe there was produce and there's not anymore. was a Ouija board. Interesting symbol for it being locked. Bathroom? I was right. Place is easy. <laughs> Look, it's another one. I, I could just... Never mind. I need the key. I need the key. So you'd rather I went upstairs? Because everything else is locked. Why, why is there a glass right here? Who put that there? Do you live in this house? A dumb waiter? Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. Shh. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Why is everything locked in this house? 
Yeah, my uncle lives here, apparently. Oh, see. Yes, yes. Piazza key? Hmm, what's this? That's not for this, is it? Surely not. Oh, is it? Nope, that's not. Um I need the key. place is too big. I need the key. Doll houses are big for the dolls. <sighs> the Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign mm -hmm. countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau, and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dossetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. It was the door slamming. Well, you never heard of doors? What the heck? Oh, and that freaked you out. Because why is it? No, why is it doing that? They want you to look at that. Zoom in on it. Why did it go in first person all of a sudden? That's weird. Why did that door slam by itself? Because they be doing that, bro.
I need the key. I need the key. I'm trying to. Talk. Let me guess. Yep. Well. Mm. Guess I'm going upstairs. Oh. Hey, I took you long enough. Wait, don't. No. Where'd you come from? Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little... Where did they come from? I was just in that direction. What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. You want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean they're not real? I think that guy did close that door. I see. Well. Thank you. Strange uh, kid. Mm. Let's yeah. look around, see what we can find. Sebastian. Oh, goody. It won't. I need another piece. It won't let me do it. I'm selecting it. I am. Now press left. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not letting me, sweetie. I'm not. What? What? What else do you want me to do? How's that working out for you, sweetie? Oh, wow, really? What day? I see. Every night the dark <laughs> man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. The dark Every man. Days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? 
I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving oh. from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest and I shall weep. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, look at that. God damn. What? Like the 50th key to find. Yeah, well, there was another... I mean, some of these keys might go for multiple things. You have any idea how much backtracking you're going to do? Yeah, it's one of those. Well, really hard with that listen. Look like Flandre's wings. All right, you total fan. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this? Oh What's shoot, you're great. You mean like I, I'm one? sure it's fine. Find me a knife to cut the canvas. <clears throat> I want to take this. <gasps> you take the I want boba. No. Sure, I'll find one. I want some boba. You can't just you can't just say stuff like that to me and then not follow through. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> I found this tube as well, should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. I'm sure it's fine. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... I don't like the squeak of a doll. What on earth is happening? What is this place? Hey, we popping off like that? How about I don't investigate the corner store? Just, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's not creepy at all. Wow. They put brooms and mops in front of the doors so I can't get in them. Oh, what, 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 what did I... Right.
hell was that thing? Does that look like a person? From a distance, you know what the fuck that was. Nah. Uh, maybe if I can get headshots, it won't be as much. I hear another one. Well, hi there, big fella. Ugh. Can you... You know what? Um... What, what what does ADS mean? Damn. Well. Does he? I definitely saw four back to kill the guy. You might have already picked him up. When you thought you were stuck, you just kept trying to run and kill him. <laughs> Was my health always red? Yep. I see, that's confusing. Yeah, when I'm dying. Nah, you you from software niggas. That's not even the best example. <laughs> your your health starts off green, and then when you're losing health, it, it changes colors. It, a lot of games do that. In most days, just Ain't no way, bro. I can't go that way. A pyramid head might be down there. This can't be. Do I need this right now? Throw where? This way? Well, what? Just throw the fucking thing. Guy, you think you are. You know what? Give me Boba. How about that? No, that's I do deserve it. Yeah, you do that to me all the time. And then I don't get what I asked for, do I? Yeah, you do. No, no, I don't. You're spoilt. Oh. You told me to just throw it wherever, yeah, so. <laughs> now who's being mean? You. No, you on the daily. Oh my god! Ah! Emily. That you? Baptiste? How'd you get here? <laughs> I was back at Dorsetto. Is his name Baptiste? Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? What's that mean? Does that mean you would know older brothers? Yeah, both me and I. You know what? We're real orderless now. 
You remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batista? Imagine a big, How are we here? Big black man chasing you. Know about you. the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Lord nah, mercy. It's like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Uh. Thank you. I'll take you can't a look. just take the Stay key off like that, can you? It was he has a thing hanging on his belt. Um. Oh, my uncle's letter wasn't important, or his journal, or whatever. Are you staying here? For a while. Wanna see if Jeremy shows up. Your sister. She also works at Dorsetto? Yeah, she the one who got his job. Be careful, okay? You said it, miss. talking about that's not true oh he did choke me out a few seconds ago yeah well I ended up in the back rooms you, you can't get mad at me for that I see. Um, I can't go that way. <sighs> oh, I haven't been paying attention, is it? Why are there so many bells I can ring? Now he really would have got mad at me if I. What is that? No, I saw it. I just. Why is the screen zooming in like that? Ew! What? Ugh! I see. Maybe I should have kept that rock. Did you hear that? 
Well, they're they're telling me about the rock like they want me to distract him and not kill it. Can I crouch? I Ah, here's another one. Maybe I can make it go into the fog. What do you think? It didn't work. He didn't hear it. Can't go this way. Can I? No? Yes? Hurry? Please? Hurry up? Hurry? Please? Oh! That was the second one. Maybe. I don't know. You'll find out. Huh? <laughs> Dang, you're already out. This must be. Oh, okay. <laughs> the music's still playing. Alrighty, hand that controller back over here. You know that thing's about to bust in the door on fire and beat your ass, right? There you go. Give me Boba! No. Please! No. Why'd you bring it up if you weren't gonna get it for me? I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Keep that same energy. Uh, 
How do I look at my inventory again? Oh, hey! I can crouch, sort of. Emily found. What? Investigation. And then it's right there. The talisman schematic. You can't read. You're doing it on purpose. I am doing it on purpose. Cause stop being mean to me. Did he come in at the last second? He, he didn't see me earlier, huh? No. You know what, Fluker? The combination of three, five, eight. Yes, yes. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Wait, so, can I... Oh, okay. So yeah. which one is supposed to be three? Probably the top one. So the big one? Probably What's the top one? one? The big one? I, that one, that one's probably really good. Okay. Three. Wait, you, 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 yeah. Oh, well, because I see that little indent right there. I thought that's where you were supposed to put it. No, look at the right side of the screen. Okay. Was it five? Oh. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? Oh. N no. No? Okay. Yeah, that's- that's fine. Nah, no, that's- that's okay. Why did it show his hmm. That's the painting that was on the thing. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. Oh. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. 
You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. <coughs> he suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid Back facing up. the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. You know, I don't think you were ever planning on getting me, Boba. I think you just said that to be mean. Detective Carnby! God, I'm... I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's... Hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. I was uh, hitting shots, but everybody started watching you when you started shooting. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Cynthia. Can I go in here yet? That just gave me all the keys, didn't he? I saw your notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear. Uh, right now, it's important man. that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Oh. Uh. 
Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and, of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Yeah, I think that's the guy who voices Spider-Man in Spider-Man games. <laughs> but he's uh, doing an accent for this game. But I could be wrong. Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Guess I'm Looks coming sturdy. back in here. Doubt I'll be opening this. Hey, that's not. I I thought there was something up here. I guess not. What? Mm. That's the child. Um...
Yeah. It's all a patient files except for Jeremy's. He was getting a little uh, too close to me though. Aren't these usually black and white? I mean, I guess they can be in color, but every time I see them, they're black and white. I need the key. What? Was that last thing? No. Alright, where am I going? Just. I'm so sorry. What? Oh! Oh, so you can be mean, but I can't? Where do I need to go? What was my objective? Back into the kitchen garden to investigate the well, find that missing puzzle piece, and then probably dealing with the scene. <laughs> Alrighty, that's this way, isn't it? I need the key. Leave. I need to find Jeremy. <clears throat> oh, that's 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 beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, but it's locked. No, 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 no. So this is the this is the direction I came from, right? Yes. I go this way. I cannot go in here. Like it doesn't even give me the option to unlock it. Yes. What 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 are you confused about? And then, and then I was in here, looking at the files. I can't go in here. I need the I, key. I, I, uh huh. To these locked doors. Uh huh. I need the key. What's that <sighs> Next time, Some sweetie. Kind of, this must be the clock mentioned in the commonplace book. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. I need the key. Play of Silent Hill? Why is everything locked? Jeremy's room. All back to normal. I don't it, it's supposed to be me I can't turn it over
Ho ho ho. Strange but beautiful room. Who puts the bed in the middle of the room? I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. So wherever he's at, he went there on purpose? Are these zodiac signs? <sighs> what the heck kind of mirror? <laughs> well, geez, they delayed it like twice. Well, I need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Terceto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Poncha Train. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Oh, one, eleven, ten. Um, You think that's for the? Well, it has the zo the zodiac signs, but there's a um a safe downstairs. But why does it say one eleven ten? Pooh. I see. I don't... Uh, the months match the signs.
Oh. There's something on the back. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. Uh, okay. Will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. I think the paintings, because they have like burn marks on them. But I. Match the burn marks on the. I, I don't know. I'll come back to that. Where's the other thing? Over here? I don't know them by heart either! <sighs> so the answers are 1, 11, and 10. So, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Can they even hear you? Yeah, I can hear me. I see. Well, this lock right here has the zodiac signs on it, but I don't... So Aquarius is first? I don't see Aquarius. Oh boy. Well... So Aquarius is those squiggly line thingies, and Sagittarius is that pointy thing. Uh. So it's Pisces 2, Aries 3, Taurus 4. Gemini 5. But I'm, I'm, cause that says 1, and then those two say 10 and 11, so I'm, Pisces is 2, Aries, Aries is 3, um, Okay. The Aquarius symbol isn't on here. Alright, you know what? You want to finish? Uh, finish. Figure out the thing on the wall first? Well, here you go. There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. Do they have to, like, line up? Hmm. 
complete the shape. Well, you figured it out, it seems. Whatever you did. What did that do? Just in somebody's room messing with their stuff. Oh, there's some what? The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Those are the names that were on the wall, right? Ah. Uh. Uh. There's like two black people up there. <laughs> I, was, I was just pointing it out. I'm surprised there were even two. That clock is kind of loud. You know what you're doing? I see. Just gonna brute force it? Just gonna brute force it. I see. Well. Oh boy. <sighs> Can I see the controller? Yeah, you're in the middle of brute forcing it, yes. Thank you. I see. <sighs> I don't understand. I'm trying to figure it out. You were just brute forcing it. Is there something else? Did we look at everything that was in here? By heart? No, I don't. Let's see. Pisces, Libra, 
and Taurus. You know what? Let me take a picture. Maybe that would help. You know what? So sorry, Mr. Brew Forcer. All right, Pisces, Libra, and uh, oh, look, <laughs> Pisces, Libra. Is Libra even on here? I don't think. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, Is that Taurus? Oh! Ah, here we go. Literally, like the next combination I was about to put in? Because that's the rotation I was on. Thank you, Cynthia. I, I don't know how you figured that out. Maybe, maybe I'm just dumb. Yes, but why was that the answer? Like, I don't, I don't understand why that was the answer. Like, this thing is not helping me at all. Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. We got it. Thank you, Cynthia. See, look! She brute forces! Yes, yes, whatever you say, sweetie. Where's my boba? All right. It changed again. What is going on? I'm tripping. I'm tripping balls right now. That looks not safe, actually. I can't see a darn thing. What? Yeah, that looks safe. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm guessing this... my map's not gonna- oh, it... never mind. What? Surely I can't just walk through that. But I can't go anywhere else, so... This is just lovely, isn't it? <sighs> Ouch! <sighs> Dang, they are just beating me up. It's okay. A little bit of pain never hurt nobody. Everything's back to normal. I'm still missing a piece. Am I? I need I the key. I still can't go this way. All right, now what? <laughs> but it's it's still, you know what? Pretty sure it's still. I need the key.
the boiler. Okay, um... Just in here chilling, and I unlocked her door. Not questioning why I'm in here. Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. you're smoking <laughs> how terribly quaint maybe so but i like it would you care to share some that smell is making me feel very nostalgic i think that's terra strong faking an accent <laughs> I got futuristic lighters. Leave them alone. Is it all that you hope for? There's fire right there. I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Oh no. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were uh. mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to um. it. <laughs> you don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much needed break. Bon voyage. Um. I was lingering on her for a long time. Emily felt surprised by how much she enjoyed the company of Ruth. There was something familiar and friendly about her. Like they were old friends that simply forgot about each other. All right, so what's this way? I'm in the library. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm 
I'm sure I'll... You really ain't gonna give me no boba, huh? Why not? Horror staple. Dang! Why'd the beat have to drop like that? I can't hear nothing else! Conveniently placed. Oh, okay. I don't understand what's happening. I don't either. So if I get myself some boba and don't get you any, that's perfectly fine, right? Is this where I came from? No. I see. Her cigarette came back. What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. Do you know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Hartwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. I thought that was spelled with a U. What's that? Um. It's another piece of broken plate. Yeah. I knew that was a dead creature. Why? Why? Do, why did she take this? Oh, maybe I have to make the water rise. Maybe. Can I- wait. I just pick it up and put it over. What am I supposed to do with this? That's a label. I. Okay. 
well, I guess I'll figure that out later. She couldn't have just pulled that a little bit closer this way. There we go. Alrighty. The housekeeper buried something in the flower patch Where's beneath that? one of Dr. Gray's windows. Yeah, that's nice. How do I get to the boiler? Or should I go back to that clock and find the boiler later? Alrighty then. Nothing. What's up here? I can't go up there. Oh. Hmm. Eh. Later. Huh, she's not sitting there anymore. What was she reading? Oh. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Terry Bricklow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Perique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their seto was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony, the Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana. 
causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Um. This isn't, you know what? seen this somewhere. Um. I can't move the one in the middle, it looks like. Can I rotate it? There was something in the commonplace book about this. Do you? Wait, no, I want to try. the commonplace um i see Just give me a second.
I can rotate it. Wait. kind of looks correct, but now I'm not sure. You want to try? You want to see the picture I took? Oh! I just needed to switch those two, Did and I was fine. The clock just stopped. Well, I, I did most of that myself, but thank you. Hmm. Oh. Am I gonna mess with this? <clears throat> I see. I think that one's also... Eight. Wait, well, that was for the other room. Is this one the same? No. So it's- so this one's not... Okay. So then... Huh. Wait. No? I don't know. Thank you. It's showing me something. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Thank. Does it want me to go back in here? Oh, 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 okay. I, I, mm. Emily deserved a sense of triumph. No. 
Oh, oh, wait. Oh. Huh? Yeah. I, I opened up another dream. Ugh. Oh, so she can slam through doors. May nineteen twenty three. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hopwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. <sighs> Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. Workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. <laughs> huh. Sasuke Uchiha. It's a lot of stuff I can open with nothing in it. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like, like having the sound of flies just in my ear. Well, I can. I need the key. Sure, I checked everything in here. Hopefully. I guess I can't go this way? Into this property? No? Ugh. Oh, joy. I hear something, yeah. I can't see anything though. Oh boy. I don't want to go in here. I really don't. starting to get a headache. 
Oh, 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 oh. Hmm, there's something missing. I can't, I can't jump down. Oh. Oh. How do I slip? I see. It looks like oh, here we go. Going to break. I don't like these noises in my ears. Um, what? Where? Who? Where? Oh, what is that? What is that? I can't, I can't, what, I, wait, oh. Wait, I can't, okay, no, that's cool, that's fine, that's... Okay. Well. It worked. Please, please don't drop me in water or anything. <gasps> no, please. My pipe. Oh, okay. I'm gonna end up breaking it before I use it properly. Oh, found another one. I can't pick it up right now. <laughs> hey! 
I dropped. Have we ever said I hate dur uh, durable weapons? What, what, what's, is that the term? A shovel! Looks like they want me to use melee instead of my gun. Oh, I can't carry anymore? How's my health looking? I, I thought it would pop up on its own. Um, no, uh, am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. I think okay. I'm stuck. I can't move. Yeah, maybe this game could have stayed in the oven a little bit longer. You thought I was joking? I told you I was stuck! Do I have to start over? When did I- when did it last save? Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? My head hurts. Can you take over for a bit? Uh, not until the next chapter. Then I'll stop. Did you kill it? What the? Where'd it go? Oh. Ew, looks like a alligator mixed with a cockroach. Alright, I guess don't go exploring again. Oh look, you found another one. You sure got him. Wait, what was that? What oh, was that? Right there. Oh, another. Oh!
You'd rather have the ore than the shovel? I see. Excuse me for exploring in a survival horror game! How was I supposed to know I was gonna get stuck on that bench? This game was delayed two times! Yeah, go on over there. Go on over there and get stuck again. What? Uh-huh. I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. You killed my brother! <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. Stuck inside of it. Good job. And the bench wasn't my fault either. No. Oh, you're stuck again. Oh my gosh! You broke it. You broke the game. Look what you like. You're 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 going into the back rooms. Looks like you gotta start over again! WHAT?! You telling me you knew the game was gonna do this?! NO! <laughs> what is this music I'm hearing? Yeah. Sweetie, I think you might have to start over again. Melvin, this game got delayed two times. <laughs> How was I supposed to know this was going to happen? I know you should have got me some boba. I know you should. I know that. I wouldn't be standing on top of them like that unless you want to get stuck again. I don't know, sweetie, you're you're on you're on something right now. Thank you, sweetie. We'll see.
Did you grab the health item in that case? I don't think you did. And that, and no. Right there. There you go. Oh. There was a health thing in there, but I guess it, it, it... Yes, yes, whatever you say, sweetie. Break this, I just need something to hit All right, with. take number three. <laughs> Being over the top up there, sweetie. <laughs> So, how did it feel getting stuck right after I did? You had a checkpoint, so if you get stuck again. the molded from Resident Evil 7. Yes, yes. <laughs> Seen some things.
I don't know if you could shoot them while they're in the ground like that. Are you trying to run the thing you told me not to do? I wasn't cornered. It looked like you were. I was in a wide you said there was something in front of you, something behind you. What happened? Alrighty. I can't see. Looks like you have a shovel already. Damn it, there has to be a way to get to the other side.
now what? Mal Jeremy mentioned in his book.
Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your... <gasps> Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? Is that the black guy's sister? Why, why, why do they always attack first, ask questions later? Daughter, you, you don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Gua. Yeah, but you it was clearly not human. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. <sighs> <laughs> oh, God damn my soul. <sighs> oh, I'm back at Dorsetto. All right, you can stop. I was going to wait for you to get to the next chapter, but you can stop. And it just saved, right? Yeah. Alrighty, that was... That was something. Reflections on the... Uh... Yeah, that was... Special. I was... Scrub scribe. To C and B corner. Yeah. Mel still owes me boba, huh? Alright, yeah, yeah. Turn turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Goodbye.